Hello, everybody. David Skrika, Stock Chart of the Day. Going to do a quick one today. Um, we got a great interview tomorrow with um, um, a company. Um, um, so anyhow, um, uh, <clears throat> we're going to look at interest rates. Today was the Fed meeting. The Fed basically did nothing. And it looks like increasingly the market now believes the Fed is done. I've kind of talked about this for a while. You can see this is the next meeting in December. There's only now a 22% chance of another quarter point. In January, this was up to 40% at some point. Now it's only roughly 30%. There's a 2% uh, percent chance it could be a half a point. So it looks increasingly like they're basically done here. And then you can see there's actually a 15% chance that rates are down 25 basis points from here. Um, um, next year, if we go out to September next year, you can see now we're right here. This is where we are right now. There's almost a hundred percent chance that at least there'll be a quarter point cut, but and about um, a seventy percent chance of half percent. So that's not really much considering five hundred basis points have been up for fifty basis points to go down, and by the end of next year, um, you know, it's really the odds are that much bigger. Um, a seventy-five basis point you know cut is about a 70% chance. So that's really not getting that much after where we are here. But it does look to me like interest rates have now topped. So if we look at the IRX here, you know, the 10-year bond, um, you know, uh, it looks like we've finally topped out. Since about August, we've topped out. You know, if you go look at this top back here in late May, we're not much higher here. You can see it was 528. Now we're 530. So we're up two basis points, you know, since then. So it looks like essentially... We started the top out, and I've shown in the past that usually the um, that short-term bond will top out for a while, then come down finally when they cut rates. And obviously, there's some kind of big disruption in the stock market, a crash in the stock market. We'll see the market you know, come down more. Even, I have to say, in the short term, the TLT has a kind of constructive basing pattern here, or right here at some short-term resistance at 85. I could see a counter rally. We haven't had a big counter rally in a while. So maybe this could rally to 90 or 92 and we can get rates back down to four, four and a half percent on the 10 year. So I could definitely see that going up a 20, you know, you know, going forward here. Um, if we go look at the 10 year, we'll see that as well. Yeah, you can see that it, actually they were up earlier. So why are we going to see a significant rally? You can see ever since May it has been relentlessly higher other than some short term rallies. We're way above the 200-day moving average on the yield on the 10-year. So, again, I could see things maybe stabilizing here. So this is why over the next few days, I've, I've already cut back some shorts. I'm going to cut back even more. Now, let's see what happens here. Is this just another short-term rally? But I got a feeling, again, like I said, November, December is not the seasonal time frame for you know um, big declines in the stock market. We're seeing signs that rates are kind of topping here. So I think now it's time to chill out, really, you know, buy some beaten up stocks that you like. I, I've got a few that for the paying members, um, some PMs, which are beaten up, et cetera, et cetera. But it looks to me like everything is showing me that essentially I'm going to go out to the January meeting because that's the highest probability. And if the January meeting right now is only a 30% chance of a, a, a rate hike, I think we're basically done with the rate hikes. You know, I think it would take something totally off the wall. But what I believe is that we're going to go into a recession in the next, you know, 12 months or so and or 12 to 18 months. And we'll see a few rate cuts. But here's the problem. The deficit is already two trillion dollars. It's going to go to three to four trillion in the next you know, downturn. The debts are way higher than 2020 or 20, 2008. So then I think the bond vigilantes are going to come back and that amount of supply coming onto the market plus all the debt that has to be rolled over because most of the government debt was sold as short-term bonds is is going to cause rates to move higher and even if the fed buys it you know go look what's going on in japan right now you know we'll, maybe we'll make that the stock chart of the day uh for friday uh because um tomorrow is going to be a company uh a, a stock chart so anyhow um it, it, the fact that, you know japan buys debt like crazy does qe like crazy and now because their debt has just gotten too large, mixed with higher inflation, their yields are going up. And I think that's, you You hit a breaking point where you can't suppress the yields anymore if also inflation is at like a higher trend um, uh, going on. So uh, that's it today. Today's stock chart of the day, basically the theme is, it does look like short-term rates 
have uh, topped and um, we and and and, sh- and long term rates in the short term, and that probably means that we'll see some rate uh, cuts next year. Longer term, I still think um, inflation and potentially rates will be moving higher. And that's all I wanted to uh, talk about today. But it does look like short term rates may finally have stopped going um, higher. So everybody, take care. Have a great one. Um, we'll, again, tomorrow we'll have a company interview, and then Friday we will have um um uh i, I probably I'm, i think i'm going to go go back and look at japan for fridays also i'm i don't know if you can hear it my voice i'm in a pretty good mood josh mcdaniel's got fired from the raiders head coach i know i try not to get too worked up about professional sports anymore but i just could not stand that guy and uh, he was you know the raiders have not been good for a long time but this was yeah you know, and the raiders have been terrible for 20 years so when this is about as bad as it's been that's a sign it's gotten really bad. So um, it was like, you know, yeah, it was almost like the Raiders won a playoff game. That's how good it felt. And I never wish ill on anyone, but the guys get a 60 year, 60 year, $60 million contract. That's guaranteed. He'll be fine. So um, it just amazes me. Yeah. You, know, you got these guys who have, this is football is their whole life. He seems like a relatively intelligent guy, you know, a good football X and O guy, but just no people skills and no common sense at all. Amazing me, um, you know, but the guys made tens of millions. So, you know, touche to him, you know.